stop on the D-bar, come into 400 feet, and then go around like we talked about the other day. And the um, fuel numbers will tell. And I, and, you know, if it's within plus or minus 10, 15 percent, we'll just call that burning curve. But if it's significantly different, um, we'll then discuss that somewhere else, or I'll talk to Jim Ogrim about it. Corporate Carolina, I can't find it. I can take one camera, right? Yeah. yeah, it's still basically night. Less than a thousand, you need to be doing something. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, you're at 450. Yeah, I just hit a breaking. You can switch to normzy if, if you're starting to feel uncomfortable with low Z. We turn this one around, and since everything's stable, and this is the rest of this is minimal fuel, and try it again. Okay. Um, we'll do another long change. Same, same basic run. Lab cockpit. It's the lab there. <laughs> Yeah, we'd like to turn this around and go to the same IC again. And I'd like to verify that fictitious sun is on. Oh, then they've got the check on the IC. Okay. That's going to be the, 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 the trick if you can get continuous range rate. Yeah, because I'm starting to go down to 33 seconds just to get shorter things, but then you build up an area here and there. It's just yeah. really got to pull I thought we were doing good at a thousand feet when I went into low Z. It was right where I wanted to be. Oh, like, except that the range call, the range rate call was like two feet per second off. What well, was it supposed to be? It, you said three, and it was up to up at around two point something. So we didn't do much breaking there. It was two. It was three. I said three. At seventeen hundred feet, it was two point five when we passed through the D bar, and that's about where all of this stuff started happening. Thousand, but a thousand feet. You want to be down at um, one. one. Thank you. 
Rodeo or auto? Oh, already there. Uh, okay. Dodge is definitely. Here's some scratch paper that you can just go ahead and write your ranges on. Scratch. That's just to write on, to write your ranges down. You mean, am I not going to plot? You could. Once you, if you get ranges and use this theta, you could but plot. But coming in. This is just a nominal, the reference profile. Okay. Let me uh, set this stuff up here. Jim, what yeah. the, I've got one camera, is that right? Yeah, go ahead and yeah. hit the top left so I don't get in the way. Okay, there you go. Extremely average. I didn't do real well. You just did average? 2.7. No point 0.7? Give me a sheet. 650 feet. Inside 500 feet, about 475 feet. 450 feet, Jim, still closing. I don't believe you. What do you mean? Give me another range. Okay, you're about 440 feet right this minute. Inside 400 feet. How are we doing on the? Uh, Almost 75. Almost 75. Okay. All right, we uh, we're all configured for that, right? Yeah, we're not going to do anything. You're just going to go screaming by it? Yeah. And then reconfigure for the R bar? Yeah. Okay. So we don't have to go screaming by it, but you're inside 400 feet. How much? Uh, you know, about 390 feet. That kind of thing. Just just barely inside. And you pretty much stopped your closure. Nine seventy-five. Yeah. Pretty much different than the last one. Not much. Max relax. Is Thirty degrees. I had to break too much. So you had to you had to go back into into the extra braking. I think what had happened when we stopped at a thousand, you started hearing a thousand feet, a thousand feet, a thousand feet, and started closing a little bit and you still had a little bit of closure rate on it and that's that's probably what happened there but still controlled approaches so they're still pretty good 